So about a year ago, I had trouble keeping track of all my Google calendars. I had three of them, my work calendar, my podcast calendar, and my family calendar. Since I didn't have them all in one place, I was starting to double book myself accidentally because I didn't realize I had things booked already. So I wanted to figure out how to see all these calendars in one calendar, but also be able to keep them separate so I can stay organized. I'm Adrian with Arden Lead Tech, and on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to add all your Google calendars onto your iPhone calendar. So let's talk tech. So you might think the first place you need to go to is either your Google Calendar or your iPhone's calendar, but you don't need to go to either of those. You're gonna to go to settings. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down and look for calendar. And right here, you already see Siri, language, and then accounts. You'll see I have eight accounts here. I'm gonna blur this out so you don't see my actual accounts, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is add account. So from here, you're gonna add whatever calendar system you have. I use Google, so I go to Google, and then basically all you gotta do is sign in to your account. Once you log in, you should see it right here on your accounts section. Um, and if you need to add another one, go ahead and add another one so you can add as many as you can on here. And I think you don't have a limit really. And once you do that, you can go to your iPhone's calendar and you'll see all the different events that you have on there from your different accounts all in one calendar, which is super clutch. Now, if you wanna just see one or the other, you just go to the bottom of the calendar and you'll see calendars, and you can check off which ones you want to see. Say you're on vacation and you don't wanna see your work calendar. Simply go to that this section and uncheck the work calendar email that you have logged in, and boom. All those events are gone and you just see whatever you need to see on your calendar now. Super clutch. So that process is the same for all Apple mobile devices. So like an iPad or an iPhone, iPod Touch if you still use those, um, the process is still the same. But for the Macs, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that separately. Let's go check it out. On the MacBook, you're just gonna open the calendar. You're gonna go to the top left corner of the screen. You'll see calendar. You're gonna click preferences and then you can go to accounts tab, the accounts tab, and then similarly, you just add, add a new account, click whatever email service you're using or whatever calendar you're using. I obviously am using Google. You log in, and once you do that, you'll see it all here. I think my favorite thing about it is that you can color coordinate the events to be like, okay, this col this calendar is all in this color. So you can easily tell like, okay, that's on my my family calendar. Um, or, oh, this is, def this is light blue. This is definitely my work calendar. Now, if you don't wanna show a certain calendar, again, all you gotta do is uncheck the box here. As you'll see there, all the calendar events for the associated email um, are gone. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's nice to know that you can have all your different calendars in one calendar, but still keeping them separate um, if you need them to. <laughs> I remember being so excited when I figured this out, and mind you, I am not an organized person at all, so that fact that this brought me joy, hopefully it brought you some joy as well to figuring this out and being able to organize your calendars in this way. If this video helped you organize your life just a little bit more, we would be happy if you let us know by liking the video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Here on Ardently Tech, we talk about all things tech, from videos of product reviews, tech hacks, tutorials like this one, and so much more. Tech was made to make our lives easier, and we are here to help you understand it all. You can watch more of our videos over here, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.